little tilts to say the least. The Mariners are two and two in those contests. Tonight we look at a pitching matchup that has Asashi Iwakuma against Rick Porcello. But these four last four games have been really sensational. Yeah, they, they have been, and, and that's what you get when you watch Major League Baseball, especially the Seattle Mariners this year. When you think of all the one-run games that they have been in, Last night, another one. What a dramatic finish for the Mariners, but a much needed win for them, oh. too, because of the last two games, the way that they really heartbreaking losses. So get back on track. They're five back of Boston. Keep things moving in the right direction. Heck of a turnaround after being dead in the water for seven innings last night. Alexis pitching matchup, as we mentioned, Iwakuma against Porcello. Iwakuma had his winning streak ended his last time out. Porcello is tied for the most wins in the American League. If you look at Iwakuma, he pitched in Boston and won that game. At that time, it put his record to five. Five and five. He's been seven and two since then. In that outing, we talk about solo home runs won't beat you. Well, he was testing it. He gave up three home runs, all of them solos, but still got the win. Stay away from Ortiz. Ortiz, five for ten with three home runs against Iwakuma. Speaking of Big Poppy being honored right now for the game, coming out getting uh, some tribute paid to him by Mariner fans, Mariners organization. Edgar Martinez presenting him with his first professional contract. There we have it. Edgar, of course, and then coming out to greet him, Cruz, Cano, and Felix Hernandez. A little flavor, flave action here of Mariner baseball. That's got to be a first as they come out and take care of their good buddy, David Ortiz, Big Poppy. Good to have you with us, everybody. Third game of four with the Boston Red Sox. We're excited. Hope you are too. Sox, Mariners, first pitch is straight ahead. said it before we'll say it again here tonight best weather at this time of day in the lower 48 welcome to Seattle safe go field game three four game set with the Boston Red Sox glad to have you with us here this evening here at root sports Dave Sims Mike Flowers root sports crew and the Mariners trying to get an upper hand in this series it's tied at a game of peace Mariners have played some emotional ball games the last four outings so take a look at the batting order that Hisashi Iwakuma will face from the hot hitting Boston Red Sox. And you can see Mookie Betts going to lead things off. Three hits in the series, all of them for extra bases, including a home run. David Ortiz, the cleanup hitter, five for 10 with three home runs versus Iwakuma. So we'll have to be very careful with him. Andrew Benintendi getting his first major league start, made his major league debut in last night's ball game. 
For Iwakuma on the year, fastball, opponents hitting 290, slugging 487. His splitter have to keep it down, down to the strike zone. Opponents hitting 265 off of his splitter. His slider, you'll see that a lot to the right-handers. Opponents hitting 220, slugging 354. And a look at the defense for the Mariners. Okay, getting the start in left field. Seth Smith in right, Cruz the DH. Luis Sardinius getting his second start in a row at shortstop. Mike Zanino will do the catching. Well, here we go. Both teams at 500 since the All Star break. The Sox 9 and 9, the Mariners 8 and 8. First pitch for me with Kuma. He's in there for a strike one. Home plate umpire Ramon De Jesus, Paul Emil at first, Mike Estbrook at second, and Dana DeMuth, crew chief, is at third. Young umpire Mike behind home plate. We'll have to stay with Iwakun with me. Know he likes to pitch off the edges of the plate, so we'll see how far he can go with it. That's a pretty good pitch right there. If he can get that pitch down and away from the right handers, he should have a good night. Iwakuma with the victory over Boston at Boston back on the 17th of June. He went seven innings of seven hit three run ball. Okie bets. Big part of what Boston's been putting together in terms of big offense. Number one in batting average, runs, hits, sixth in homers, on base and slugging. That's ninth in the league in hitting entering tonight's game. Swing and a miss, and Kuma strikes him out. Great start for you with Kuma. And after a couple of fastballs on the outside corner, missed with a slider and comes back with the split down out of the strike zone. He's going to swing right over the top of it. Well located split for Iwakuma. And when we've seen Iwakuma be really good, he's been down there, and if he misses, it's even lower, right? He's not in the dirt. Right. It's rare that he tries to throw that pitch for a strike. He'll typically go to his slider or maybe a curveball early in the count, but his split he wants down out of the strike zone. The super utility guy, Brock Holt. Dustin Pedroia getting the night off. Pedroia played in 103 games, so it's a night off. That foul ball goes right between the legs of first base up. Uh, first base uh, coach Ruben Amaro Jr. Former Phillies GM. Ruben, a, a great player, coming out of Philadelphia High School, played at Stanford a few years in the league. His dad was a great defensive shortstop at the Phillies in the early mid 60s. The 0 2. Strike three call. Puma. Sharp. First two hitters, two down. First action in the series for Brock Holt. Seven pitches for Iwakuma, six of them for strikes and another split. Just off the outside corner. Good looking pitch. Brings up Xander Bogarts, number two hitter in the league at 323. Altuve leading the league at 360. Iwakuma the leading winner in the Mariner staff. 11 wins had a five game winning streak ended in his last start Friday three innings at the Cubs. I mentioned the three innings against the Cubs I thought it was interesting Nelson Stottlemyre before the game talking about that outing and said look Iwakuma has been consistent he's been consistently getting deep in the games and he said that was just one of those days where he didn't have it so we just took him out of the game. Smart. Tremendous comeback last night. David Price dominating through seven. The Mariners have put up a five spot in the eighth. Found back the Mariners. You were talking about one run games. Mariners now 18 and 20 in one run games. Boston 12 and 14. And Wade LeBlanc did a good job. Quality start last night. Six innings, a five hit, three run ball, a walk, and five caves. Yeah, I think Robbie Cano with a three run homer. I think if you'd have given that line to Scott Service before the game started, he would have taken it from LeBlanc. Six innings, three runs, take your chances from there. So Nato had a home run. That started things in the eighth, first pitch swinging. And then Edwin Diaz, electric Eddie D. First big league save, and the guys who gave him the Gatorade dump. 
guys who had previously held that spot Steve Ciszek and Tom Wilhelms a nice classy move by those two veterans. Don't forget about Heredia Guillermo Heredia getting his first base hit in RBI in that inning. Scott service before his media session said that the guys on the bench were so keyed up when he got the hit and how he got the hit and what the hit meant. They were rooting, pulling hard for the young man. And his reaction after getting the hit, I thought was tremendous. Yeah. He was excited about it, as you can imagine, and was showing it. He looks like somebody that can bring a lot of energy to this club. 2-2 two -two pitch with two outs. A punch shot, right field. Smitty on the kicks. Nice start for Kuma. One, two, three in the first. We're going to see last night's hero, Robbie Cano. He'll be third up when we get back here at Safe Goldfield. Big moment last night. Chung Ching right there at three run jack. Puts the Mariners in front. And they go on to win it five to four against the Red Sox. Lineup for the Mariners leading things off. Aoki back in the lineup. Then it's Robinson Cano. Two for four last night with a three run home run. Adam Lynn in the lineup. He will hit six. Four hits off of Porcello. Two of them for home runs. And Mike Zanino hitting eighth had his fourth home run last night as well. For Porcello on the year, his fastball opponents hitting just 276, slugging 416. You're going to see his slider and curveball quite a bit, and you can see why. Opponents hitting 197 against his slider, just 200 against his curveball, and slugging only 311. Off speed pitch have been really good for him this year. Dory Aoki one for 12 against Porcello. And there's the first pitch strike and I've got to find out why Nori's walk up music was the classic of classics Johnny be good by Chuck Berry. <laughs> there's got to be a story there. I'm sure. Right field. Oki Betts has it. Take so a look at the defense for the Red Sox. You just saw Mookie Betts out in right field. Covers a lot of ground. Strong throwing arm for Betts. Rock Holt at second base. Pedroia out of the lineup today. And Travis Shaw taking over at first base for Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Ramirez slipped and fell coming down the steps at the, in the dugout steps. Injured his left wrist last night. So he's out of action tonight. Probably tomorrow. So Shaw gets to start. Pedroia there's Hanley sitting in between David Price on the right and David Ortiz on the left. Or Hanley, go ahead and take a couple of days off after that home running hit last hey night. 450 plus that feet. That thing got smoked. And I'm about to cat trying to get it out of the out of the netting out there. I heard that later somebody just walked up and pulled it out. After or the fans. The net was winning last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. Seth Smith, one and one. Smitty nine for 16 with three doubles. Against Porcello. Rick going for career win number 100 tonight. When you look at the numbers for Porcello on the year, you see this ground ball into the shift. That's Brock Holt. The one thing that he will do tonight is throw a lot of strikes. Well, Check of that. that was Aaron Hill. Big important. That was Aaron Hill. Yeah, Aaron Hill. You're right. 
for Porcello 135 innings pitched this year just 24 walks so he's going to be around the plate. In his last outing against the Angels went all the way nine innings five hits two earned runs didn't walk anybody at three strikeouts through 107 pitches. Boy, that peaked my ears and it peaked my eyes today. A complete game. What's that? I we never see those anymore. No, you rarely do. And, and to do it, we've talked about it. You have to be extremely efficient. Something that Iwakuma has been this year. The reason why he's been able to work seven, eight innings for the Mariners. Here's Cano. He'll keep the shift on with Cano hitting. A lot of three-game hitting streak, five for his last 13. Marcelo, 27 years old, out of Morristown, New Jersey, Central Jersey, born there, still lives there. Came over from Detroit to Boston for UN Assess, but it's December 14. Foul off. Spent six seasons with Detroit. Was a double-figure winner in every season. He went 76 and 63. Coming off a 9 and 15 effort last year with a 4 9 2. And man, has he turned that around? Cano has good numbers against him. 27 at bats. He's hitting 370 with a home run. 2 1 pitch. Hammered. Foul. Went into the clubhouse after the game last night talking to Nelson Cruz, and he said Robbie went up there looking for a curveball from a five because the five had just abused him over the years, and Robbie was 1 for 11. And about that first swing, he looked terrible on that first swing. And I think that he realized at that point that Abad eventually, if he was able to get the count in his favor, was going to go back to that pitch. Yep. And if you look at the pitch location, yeah, it's in the middle of the play, but it was down out of the strike Maybe zone. Get it. And he stayed on it the entire way, which leads you to believe he was looking for mm -hmm. that pitch. That's what he said. And it was a one. And the count went the one-two. So that was Abad was oh, nice catch. Front row, mezzanine left side. He went up there looking for it and got it. That was a big moment. I mean, David Price, seven innings, almost untouchable. And then everything came unglued in the eighth. Zanino started at first pitch swinging home run left field. Two and two. To you know, it's one thing to, to say that you're going to look for the curveball, but the other part of Abad is he throws 94, 95 miles an hour. Bogart well, eats this up. One, two, three inning for Porcello. Aaron is two and three on the season against the Red Sox. Here comes Kuma for inning number two. A great area at Safe Gold Field, located just off the main concourse in center field. It's the Seattle Children's Play Field. It features a playground, kids' concessions, and much more. So swing by the next time you're at the ballpark. The Navy in town tonight. Blue Angels and their crew are at the first pitch to see our service men and women here at the ballpark tonight. Here's David Ortiz, honored by the Mariners. Tomorrow will be his final game here at Safe Gold Field. 
And Asashi Iwakuma will tip his cap to David Ortiz and say, I'm glad you're retiring because Big Poppy's five for ten against him with three bombs. Good news for the Mariners, Texas loses at Baltimore 3 2. Bottom eight, Toronto leads at Houston 3 1. Another team the Mariners are chasing. Detroit beat the White Sox 2 to 1. Chris Sale took the loss. He's 14 and 5. Ortiz, Jackie Bradley Jr., Aaron Hill, 4, 5, and 6. Here in a second. JD Martinez just back from the DL. First at bat for Detroit, hit a home run, and they've been playing really good ball, and now they add him back to the lineup. You mentioned the numbers of lower tees against Steve Puma, five for ten with three home runs. Abel Puma able to retire the side in the first, and that'll be a big key in this game. If he's going to pitch to Ortiz, to pitch to him with nobody on base. Again, here, here. In Boston, Fenway Park. Iwakuma gave up three home runs, but those were the only three runs that he gave up because he did not walk anybody. Really pitched well in that out. Ortiz fourth in hitting in the American League at 316. Pops this one foul. Give you an idea how good a season he's having in his swan song. Sixth in home runs, second in RBIs. Leads in slugging at 636. Fourth in on base percentage. Leads in doubles with 36. Had a couple of RBIs in last night's ball game. Due to time restrictions, we won't read the rest of the list. <laughs> That's how good he's going. Thirty five year old Sashi Iwakuma. What a nice run he had before he ran into the Cubs five consecutive victories. Swing and a miss. Got him. Third strikeout for Iwakuma. Three Ks in the first four hitters. I thought this was a smart pitch. Ortiz really likes the ball down. See that fastball, probably borderline strike at the top of the strike zone, gets him to chase it. For Iwakuma, five previous starts against Boston, a 1 1 record, 8 5 9 ERA. As you mentioned, he did beat him back on June 17. Mariners will stay in the shift with Jackie Bradley Jr. hitting. What have you seen from Jackie Bradley Jr.? His, the, what he has improved on, he was what, 213 hitter career coming in. But I think one of the things that I've noticed with him is, is his lower half. I mean, he used to have a long stride. He would stomp down with his, his front foot, his right foot, and you can see how quiet he is now compared to the way he used to be. And I think it just gives him more time. And he's probably learned quite a bit too, Dave. And you could move along, and that probably helps to have that man as your hitting coach. Charles Chili Davis, Carl Willis on the left, the pitching coach, but Chili Davis, one of the best. Any coaches in the biz out of Kingston, Jamaica. I have to believe he's had a big impact on him. Good. One and two. I like that, right at the bottom of the strike zone. Getting the strike down there, that, that'll be big for Iwakuma as he moves forward in this game. Bradley, owner of the longest hitting streak in the American League at 29 games. Late April into late May. Here's the one two. When I mentioned his stride and, and stomping down with that front foot, what that does is it causes your head to move a lot. Dave, and it's difficult to square the ball up, and you can see how much softer he is with his approach. Gives his hands a chance to work. Strong guy. He, he doesn't need all that work from the bottom half. Swing and a miss. Zunino gives himself a throwing lane. And Adam Lind and another strikeout for Iwakuma. He struck out four of the first five men that he's faced. And we'll take a look at another pitch down out of the strike zone. Gets him to chase it. Take another look at his stride with two strikes. Really trying to quiet things down. 
but just cannot lay off of that split down out of the strike zone. And this is a good club there. First and average, first and runs, first and doubles, third and walks, first and slugging, and on base percentage. Chili Davis happy with his club. There's Aaron Hill, eighth inning, Monday's game, tied it with a home run. And Mookie Betts, two uh, leadoff homer in the ninth, won it for Boston. He'll win one for three in yesterday's game with an RBI single to left. Seager backhand, double clutch, couldn't get a grip. That'll be an infield hit. First hit of the ball game. Take a look at Kyle. Playing deep with Hill hitting, he's going to have to backhand it. And right there, just didn't have the handle on it, had to re grip it, and that was the difference. They're reaching in there, hoping to get all four seams, Some, right? Yeah, and sometimes he, he was, when he was coming in on the ball, he was going to try to field it out in front of him, and the ball kicked just a little bit on him. So that's the reason why he had to make an adjustment with the backhand, kind of throwing his footwork off. And that's the reason why it'll be a hit. There's Travis Shaw. Game 100 for him. Strike one. Pitch up in his eyes and he skied it. Probably get his head out of the way, makes the catch. Nice inning for you, Akuma. Coming up, Cruz, Seeger, and Lind here at Safeco Field. Mariners baseball on Root Sports brought to you by Sausage Party in theaters August 12th. By Safeco Insurance, find a local agent at Safeco.com. And by Honda, start something special with a great deal on a Honda as you look east from the ballpark. Time lapse. Always like seeing that as Nelson Cruz leads off. Four for 28. Struck out eight times at the hands of Rick Porcello. Now he's in one of those uh, little sets. Mike Witt's a bust out's coming. He's 0 for his last seven. So somebody's going to pay. And usually when he busts out of it, it's with the home run. There it is. Upper tight, baby. Boom, stick, baby. Nelson Cruz with his 27. Hey, now. Something like that, Dave. Yes, sir.
Had the sound. And look out, people incoming. <laughs> for Nelson, his 27th home run. Porcello, the 15th home run he's given up on the year. And it was rough. Oh man. We've seen him in, we've seen him hit some balls before, but this. Oh. He just dropped the barrel oh. on it. All kinds of leverage on this swing. Right? Oh. It's beautiful. Full torque. Unleash. Take a look at the fans here. Man, that sound was resounding. One at 441 feet. That's all. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Building doesn't get in the way. It's six bills. I know it ended up in the second deck in a hurry. As you look, take a look at the exit velocity at 112 Ooh, miles wee. an hour. Wow. Kyle Seeger, the hitter, 20 home runs, 67 runs batted in. Cruz just took over the team lead, breaking a tie with Cano. He's got 69 ribbies. Now you hit some balls. Not really like that. Well. Not no. Like, no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. But you still feel good about the ones you did crush, but you didn't crush it if you did good. No, I have no, and, and, I, and I have no problem saying that because there aren't many in the game that could hit a ball like that. Amen. Full barrel up. 2-2. Two, two. We'll count now to Kyle Seeger, Adam Lind on deck. Fifteenth homer given up by Porcello. Ninth to a right hand hitter. Seeger's aboard. Good looking in here. Got a last look at the Red Sox coming up tomorrow. Two Pomerantz came over from the Athletics. We'll get the start. And Ariel Miranda will make his Mariners debut. He's pitched well in his last few outings in Triple A. Mr. Miranda. Came over in the Wade Miley trade. We're talking about how Cano reached out and went down and got that breaking ball. It's sort of like Adam Lynn hit one of his game winners here. On the changeup. Right? Yeah. Went down and got it, got the barrel to it. Same. Now he was 0 for 7. Adam's 0 for 10. What do you think? Well, Adam has more hits off of Porcello. It's going to be a double play. Quick two down. Going to bring up Martin. Martin has had some success. 462 off of Porcello. 5-6-3 double play. I was watching uh, Martin hit take batting practice today. Right. And he was hitting it off the glass of the cafe. Scary. In right field. <laughs> yes. That's what we were watching before the game. Martin, Marte, O'Malley, and uh, the youngster Aredia. They were in a fierce competition, bunting under the supervision of the skipper. And I'm telling you, a close eye. He was calling out situations. Boys, you got to get a bunt that first and second, one out. And he's calling out the situation. So Casey Candell came over and almost won the competition. They had a couple, a couple of saw bucks on it. I would I would not be surprised if Casey did. Yeah. Very good bunter. You're talking about calling out situations. That's something that Edgar Martinez does all the time behind the batting cage when they're taking BP. Right. Give them situations where the runners are. The left field and a kid. Andrew Benatendi. Makes the play. Highlight in the oh my goodness moment. Nelson Cruz standing admire. Go ahead. You deserve it. Upper tank blast. Mariners have a one nothing lead.
One nothing. Top of the third here at Safe Go Field. It is the perfect addition to your Collectibles Hall of Fame this Friday. First 20,000 fans to pick up a bobblehead featuring Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. Thanks to Root Sports for tickets. Visit Mariners.com. And why do I get the feeling there'll be some people camping out here? Almost like it's for opening day tickets. It's a big weekend, and a lot of people are want that. <laughs> Demand for that bobblehead's going to be humongous. Oh, it'll be standing room only. Sandy Leone, the catcher, shift on for him. Cano in short right field. <laughs> Ricochet off the into the Mariner dugout. Leone 0 for 4 in last night's game, 1 for 3 in the first game. Two. So Texas has lost at Baltimore three to two. Bottom nine at Houston. Toronto three one. Just went final three one. Toronto beats Houston. Bautista and Donaldson homer. Donaldson hit two. Line drive handled nicely out there by Nori Aoki. He had a really good break on the ball. As soon as it was hit, lined out to him, he was able to break right away. So a good jump by Aoki. Making the running catch. Good to have Nori back. Here's Anthony Ben attending. Debuted last night as a pinch hitter. Stayed in the game, wound up going over two, ground out in the strikeout. Heralded prospect for the Red Sox. Seventh overall in the draft last year. It didn't take him very long to get to the big leagues. One of the things we saw last night, you mentioned him grounding out, is he could get down the line. Pretty good speed. And there's his first big league hit. That ball out of play. So Heredia gets his first big league hit last night, and now another one. As you mentioned, he'll get the ball out of play. Can no know it. Held on to it. That's a pretty Throw good pitch. That's a split down out of the strike zone. Able to stay on it and line it in the left field. Congratulations, first major league hit. Welcome to the show. Top of the order and Mookie Betts. Break one to Mookie struck out on a one two pitch to lead off the ball game. in a wild card chase starting today five games off the pace Toronto and Boston start today holding two wild card spots followed by Detroit and Houston then the Mariners and the good news the Mariners have to play everybody at Houston six more times three with Detroit tonight tomorrow with Boston and three with Toronto in September plus ten games with the Athletics and about six have swing pulled in there still got a lot of games with Oakland and Texas. Good looking swing here, Mike. Again on a split down out of the strike zone. <laughs> His family is excited about it. What a moment that is. Oh, two here to Betts. Kiddo ranging towards the line. Calling off Adam Lynch. Let's take a look at our Delta Airlines keep climbing standings. Tigers. The win against Chris Sale and the Sox, the White Sox, that is. Astros lose. Mariners trying to get a win here tonight. And the Yankees 
They played the Mets first game at Yankees Stadium and won. They won that game. Yankees won that game nine to five. It was Brock Holt took a called third strike. Xander Bogart's number two hitter in the league. A couple of left handed hitters going the other way. That one on the fastball. Just out of the reach of Sardinius. Not sure he would have had a play even if he'd have been able to glove it. It's a big spot here. There is lead 1 nothing on a second inning leadoff homer by Nelson Cruz, upper deck left field. His 27th is 69th run batted in. It's Nelly in the top 10 in RBIs. Right now, got to get Bogarts and fly it out to right. Ball one. Some significant streaks by the Red Sox this season. Jackie Bradley, best in the American League. Bogarts right behind him. Eric Hosmer of the Kansas City Royals, Manny Machado, and Pedroia. John Farrell, fourth year. This ball club to the 2013 World Series Championship. Bogart's good hitter. Runners in squared position at 324. One to one to Xander. Kuma's 22nd start. The last couple of years he's had to battle injuries, and here we are on August 3rd. He's been an absolute horse here for this franchise this season. Started today with 130 innings in the books. Adam Lynn's got a good beat on this. Big man makes the play and Kuma's out of trouble. Stranding two. He'll take a one-nothing lead to the home third. Mike Zanino, Luis Sardinius, and Nori Aoki coming up.
thing. Game three against the Boston Red Sox. Time now for a Geico this date in MLB history. Taking back to 89, the Reds set a big league record with 16 first inning hits, scoring 14 runs, and the Reds go on to beat the Astros by the final of 18 to 2. 18 runs on 26 hits. Astros hit two runs on eight hits. Zanino leads off. How'd you like that home run last night? I liked it a lot. I has four home runs since being recalled, and it was on a first pitch on a breaking ball. He was able to stay on it and hit it out of the ballpark. Twelfth game for Mike. Second stint with the ball club. He's here to stay. Looking for his first hit against Porcello. He's 0 for 5 against him. The main thing is you have to wonder because Price was just cruising along. Might have shocked him a little bit because after that the Mariners went to work. Were able to come back and win the ball game and chase Price out of the game. Price threw seven. Scoreless. Three hit baseball, no walks, with five strikeouts. Totally dominant. Then the Mariners go five runs on five hits in the eighth. That pitch and the pitch up in the zone, a couple of pitches in the past years, Mike was chasing. Not anymore. Good sign. Yeah, you're right. And I, I think a good indication is we've seen that a number of times. It doesn't mean he's not going to chase from time to time, but you can tell how quiet he is at the plate. And that's the reason why he's taking some of those pitches. I thought in the first game of this series against Kimbrell, a guy that can throw in the upper 90s, he was able to lay off two sliders off the plate away and eventually ended up walking in that at bat. But that would not have happened for him last that year. That was a great at bat. It was a great at bat. And those pitches would have been tough for most good right handed hitters to lay off of, and Mike was able to and do it. And remember, was that there was a walk a couple of weeks the last time we were at home, he had a good AB where he took a walk. Fouled off some pitches right. that were remember borderline that? and then ended up getting a walk. Yeah. Yes. 3 2. Hammered but foul. And right here, this will be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Edgar would certainly like to see it pay off with a base hit or a walk, but if it doesn't, it'd still be happy that he was able to make him use ten pitches. Swing and a miss, Gatti. First strikeout for Priscilla. He did make him, did extend him. This guy be right at telecast. Is presented by authority the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Excitement building here in Seattle. Not only the Red Sox, the Navy's in town. We got the Sox tonight, tomorrow. Angels come to town, but this weekend special it's Ken Griffey Jr. weekend. Can't implore you enough. Get your tickets. Don't be left out in the. Well, I was going to say left out in the cold. It's going to be nice and warm here. It'll be a beautiful weekend. Sardinus looks at a breaking ball and he's behind 0 and 2. Luis playing in his 31st game. Second stick with the ball club. Strike three called. Got the slow breaking ball in there. Give an idea of the itinerary for Ken Griffey Jr. weekend looks like this Friday, bobblehead night, Saturday, number retirement ceremony, and then replica Jersey Day. We'll be on the air at 5 o'clock on Saturday for all the festivities. Of course, we'll have Junior up here to play off three nights here in the TV booth as we get back to the top of the order in Dory Oak. 0 for 1, fly out to right. Popped up battle play. Rosello having a heck of a year. And just what we expected, throwing a lot of strikes. Ten batters, nine first pitch strikes, 40 pitches, 28 strikes. Make a play, Rick Riz. Right in the booth. I wonder if he made the play. Did Rico make the He made the play. Hey. Oh boy. Way to go, Rick. 
<laughs> He's been dying for a foul ball. Absolutely dying for one, and he made the play. Good for him. <laughs> I always make sure the wheels are properly oiled. So I can say, yeah, it hurt. Yeah. I, believe, I believe Southern <laughs> Illinois, second yeah, baseman. Correct. A Saluki, <laughs> Egyptian dog. I believe the first one at home he's got this year. Oh, look at his feet, two and two. <laughs> two, two, nobody on. Two outs, triple foul. Nino and Nori making for solar work here. Two two pitch. Mike Zanino seeing ten pitches. This will be the eighth pitch of this at bat for Aoki. Again at two and two. Full count. Seth Smith waits his turn. He grounded out into the shift. Third baseman Aaron Hill. And now this will be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Pitch. Priscilla's got to be getting sick of our Oki. Nice catch down there. Three two again. Bogarts. Throws him out. They did build up that pitch count in the third inning. Nice play by Bogarts. But here's how you don't do it in the stands. What? Whoop, 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 whoop. Little Three Stooges action there, but how about that catch? Brought the glove, it pays off. Kuma here against this hot hitting Boston Red Sox ball club. He's got four strikeouts in the first three innings, stranded three runners, 
looking good. He's posted a zero in each of the first three innings. And he's benefited from the Nelson Cruz home run. Here's Big Poppy to lead it off. Here in the fourth, Ortiz, Bradley, and Hill. He was able to strike him out on a high fastball. Started him off with the high fastball. Looked like it was a strike, but didn't get the call here. Mariners have the shift on with Ortiz hitting. Oftentimes in the shift, we see Robbie Cano get on the grass. He's about 10, 15 yards deep here. Kyle Seeger resets, playing more up the middle. Ortiz having a spectacular final year of his career. 2-0. Bradley Jr.'s on deck. There's a strike, three and one. One blown out towards right, three one. Tag deep right field. Smitty makes a basket catch at the fence. The Ole Miss Rebel goes deep to the fence in right center field. Make the catch against Ortiz. Great concentration. Little basket catch. He knew he was getting close to the wall. We mentioned it before the game with Ortiz. He was five for ten coming into the game with three home runs off of Iwakuma. And that was close. And a hitter's count. He just took advantage of a fastball that was in the middle of the plate. Jackie Bradley Jr. Still keep three defenders right side. This one popped up out of play. No play for Kyle Seeker. Strike one. Red Sox will leave here after tomorrow's game. Head back to Southern California. Play the Dodgers. Played the Angels down there before coming here to Seattle. Easy play for Cano. Two outs. Bring up Aaron Hill. Picked up the first hit of the ball game. Two outs in the second, a little infield hit. Kyle Seeger gripped it, slow roller, couldn't make the play in time. He had a double clutch. So we come to you above the A at Safeco Field. Previous stops for Aaron Hill, Toronto, Arizona, and Milwaukee. And a rare shift for the Mariners against a right handed hitter. See Cano over on the left side of the infield. Hill used to team with Adam Lind in Toronto. Fouls it back. In Toronto, I think there was a year when both of them hit 30 home oh, runs. Most certainly was. <laughs> and that one, we had one trip up there where they both over three game series. I think that the two of them hit something like four home runs. Six home run campaign in 09. Made the All Star team. He went 36 and 108. Followed that with 26 and 68. Also, in 09, led the league in plate appearances in that bat. 734 plate appearances. Kuma's got him 2 2. Took a lot off of that pitch. Easy play for Seth. Iwakuma's in a groove. One, two, three. Here in the fourth. Let's see if the Mariners can get him some more runs with Smitty, Cano, and Cruz. Coming to the plate when we return.
panel where the Mariners have a one nothing lead of the Boston Red Sox. Take a look at our Columbia Bank difference of the game. We turn our attention to Mr. Cruz. We saw an 0 for 7 on the sheet. Figured that looked pretty good that he was going to have a bust out, and boy, did he. 441 feet, upper tank. Home run number 27, RBI number 69, club leader. Here's Seth Smith. Ground out first time up. Nelson will be up third here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Seth, they mentioned grounding out to third. You have Aaron Hill We're on the right side of the infield with the shift on. Bogarts, the shortstop, stays on the left side. It's right into the shift. Brock Holt will throw him out. One away here in the fourth. Stick around after the game. Rounders post game presented by Delta Airlines. Brad Adam and Dave Valley, along with Jen Mueller, will be with you. Post game analysis, recap, and interviews from the clubhouse. As Mr. Cruz makes his way to the on deck circle, Robinson Cano is going to swing it bat right now. Robbie grounded out to short, a 2 2 pitch in the first. Stays out in short right field for Cano. Sandy Leone takes a beating right there, 0 2. As we come to you above the A and Safe Co field, there we are there and underneath print media. All the broadcast crews, Aaron Goldsmith, Rick Riz to our left. We got Dave O'Brien and Steve Lyons for the Red Sox. Stig Leone and Tim Nevert on the radio side for the Sox. Swing and a miss. Robbie's gone. Third strikeout for Purcello, as we mentioned earlier, looking for career win number 100. Got a career mark of 99 and 80. Make sure you follow Mariners Baseball Live with the MLB.com at that app. Stay up to the moment of game day live, game video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. Quick two outs here in the fourth. Nelson Cruz, first home run career against Rick Porcello. 441 feet. First couple of pitches to Nelson in his first at bat away from him. Then he tried to sneak a fastball by him on the inside corner and he hit it into the upper deck and left. Two and oh. Straight away and deep. In the outfield and maybe that guy will get another one. Not this at bat. Popped up. Time to shot first base. One, two, three of the Mariners in the fourth. Fifth inning coming up in a one nothing Mariner lead.
Go Field, Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. Game three, four game set with Boston. Harris lead 1 0 on a Nelson Cruz leadoff homer in the second. Travis Shaw start things off here in the fifth against Sashi Iwakumas. Look sharp. No runs, three hits. Struck out four. Shaw popped out to Cano his first time. Come on, Shaw. Long run for Aoki. Sardine is going to call him off. Check in with Angie Mentink at the Ford Sports Desk. Yes it is and he is one of the all time good kids too. Good for Jones. He, he can throw. There's no doubt about that. No he'll be in the mid 90s. <laughs> How about that. For a one point. Chew the same thing when he was with the Mariners they were they were debating mm -hmm. on what to do with him because of the same thing he could throw in the mid 90s. Things have worked out pretty well for him as an outfielder. He's been injured quite a bit over the last couple of years. Tell you what, and not that we expect Jonesy to make an impact with the big club this year. The question mark with that club is their pitching. So you look down the road, he's still a young kid. I mean, they could develop him the next year or two. Look out. Throw strikes. Left handed throw strikes, and you're throwing in the mid 90s. Yeah. That's usually a successful formula. There's a job for you. And the other thing is, we both well know something like that left handed, you're going to be, you could be here for a while. Throw strikes. That's exactly right. Could have been a problem off the bat of Sandy Leone. 62 pitches, 44 strikes. For Iwakumas, face 17 batters, 10 first pitch strikes. Kuma's retired the last five men that he's faced. Red Sox had runners first and second in the third. He got out of trouble. That's a foul ball. Mr. Mickelson. <laughs> this is right off the knuckles, probably on the pine tar, spinning sideways on Kyle and the shift on. Not much of an opportunity to throw him out. Yeah, you can see that ball hit the ground and take a right turn on him. <laughs> one out, one on. To the nine hole, Andrew Benatendi, young man out of Cincinnati, Ohio, by way of the University of Arkansas. Seventh pick last year. Got his first big league hit, base hit to left, and an 0 1 pitch. Family documenting every second, and you don't blame them. In, they are enjoying it. He hit a pretty good pitch from Iwakuma. It was a split down out of the strike zone and lined it in the left field. Twenty-two years old. In his major league debut, he's major league player, eighteen thousand eight hundred seventeenth in uh, major league history. Good 
for him. Ball two strikes. 5 10 170 plus speed. Big Suey, University of Arkansas, Fayetteville. At the kit. There's two outs. Let's take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Sleep Train. Calendar shows Ken Griffey Jr. weekend coming up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then those Detroit Tigers playing some great baseball right now. They can move up in the standings. Then we go on the road, quick trip, stay in this time zone. How about that? Three with the Athletics. We'll have to get to re know them. They have blown that team up again in the Angels one more time. I, th I think when you look at that schedule, once they get past the Tigers, they're going to have a part of the schedule where they really are going to have to take advantage of it. You mentioned the A's getting rid of a number of guys, and the Angels have had their struggles this year. Then they have the Brewers after that. Yeah. Make some hay. Absolutely. Tokyo for two. Cano running towards the line. Lynn will yield to him. Robbie makes the play in foul territory. Nice job by Kuma again. Boy, he's throwing some really good ball. Kyle Seeger, Adam Lynn, and Leona Martin coming up. A 1 0 Mariner lead. Red Sox Mariners lead at one nothing and great news sound transit's new blink light rail stations on Capitol Hill and at the UW they're now open so plan your trip at soundtransit.org and the Mariners with just one hit in the ball game but it's the difference in the game Nelson Cruz is 27th home run break one to Kyle Seeger walked in and was erased in a double play his first time up. Talking about the calendar and showing Detroit coming in since the All Star break, the Tigers are 12 and 5. Started today three games behind first place Cleveland in the Central Division. Kyle Seeger, 3 for 11 against Rick Porcello.
Tigers pick up a game on Cleveland. Cleveland lost at home 13 5 to Minnesota. 2 1 to Kyle. Popped it up. Aaron Hills got room. Moments ago. <laughs> Don't go out in the field trying to find that Pokemon. <laughs> one of the attendants or one of the. John Law will be looking to relive his high school football years and bring you down if you get out on the field. Here's Adam Lind. Ended 226, 15 overs, 43. Rims batted in with 10 doubles. 1-1 one, one pitch. High fly ball that's hooking foul. Adams matchups against Porcello. He has four hits, two of them home runs. They got one. Mariners saw Porcello back in Boston. Laid off Homer's second inning on Saturday, June 18th. Strike three called. He's gone. Porcello's fourth strikeout. Quick two outs. We bring up Ionis Martin coming up tomorrow. Drew Pomerantz. Face Ariel Miranda in his Mariner debut at our Century Link. What's next? Our team fouls one off. Hope to see Taiwan Walker sometime this weekend. And same for Patel Marte. We could see them, see him as well sometime this weekend. Patel coming off of. Mono bound with Mono lost 22 pounds in a very short period of time and he's been back. There he is. Behind Robbie Canella. Told that Taiwan Walker not only had a good outing at Tacoma but a good side it. session yesterday. Now Stoudemire very encouraged. Martin flight out to left his first time. We're going to miss and Martin is gone. Five strikeouts for Rick Porcello. One nothing Mariners. Tonight, hit it here, Cafe, where the Mariners lead at 1-0. Time now for the Big Fish Casino. Big catch. 
And really good performance through five by the Mariners. Top winner is Sashi Iwakuma. Really had good command of his fastball tonight. His split has been down out of the strike zone. Thick in the slider. A couple of curveballs, not many. But pitching right off the edges of the plate. That's strikeout of Ortiz on an elevated fastball. And there's the split down in the dirt again. Good cut fastball. A lot of strikes. 70 pitches, 51 strikes for Iwakuma. Pretty good duel here with Rick Porcello. Rock Holt leads off. Rock Holt, Xander Bogarts, David Ortiz, 2 3 4 here in the Boston sixth. And we hit for the Mariners the home run by Nelson Cruz. Rock Holt took a called third strike and singled to left field. That was in the third. Kuma struck out five, hasn't walked anybody. Two. Oakland and the Angels are tied at 4 4, bottom four. Earlier, Baltimore beat Texas 3 2, and Toronto won at Houston 3 1. That is a foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. Adam Lind not taking any chances, trying to make the play, let the umpire do his job. See the umpire basically standing behind him, and it was just too close. So I tried to keep it on the infield. Veteran umpire Paul Emmel working first base tonight. Puma standing tall on the mound out there. He's got a 2 2 pitch. Remains a two and two. A lot of things well tonight. Probably one of the more important things is not let a leadoff hitter on base yet. Angels be in town starting Friday. We're going to see Tim Lincecum for the Angels. Here comes a two two. Big scores tonight. Tampa Bay 12 0 at home, beating Kansas City. And Colorado beat the Dodgers 12 2 in Denver. Foul ball. And a good battle going on right here. The eighth oh. pitch of the at bat. Oh, Bogarts and Ortiz. We pitch number 78, Free Kuma. Beat the Red Sox back on 17th. Of June in Boston going seven innings. Beautiful pitch. Half a dozen strikeouts. We will come one down here in the sixth. Rock Holt able to foul off a number of fastballs, including the cutter, so he throws in the slow curveball at 75. Fine pitch there. Brings up Xander Bogarts. Hails from Aruba. 0 for 2. Second leading hitter in the American League. Offensive leaderboard in the American League looks like just a big eye chart filled with red. Ortiz, Bogarts, Betts, Bradley, all over the leaderboards. Nice hop for Seager. Plenty of time. Throw over to get the out on Bogarts. Two down. Big plans to take in a Mariners game with the whole family at Safeco Insurance Grand Slam Family Package Night on Wednesday, August 10th. Select tickets include a hot dog and a Pepsi at one special package value price. For tickets, Go to Mariners.com. David Ortiz stepping in, 0 for 2 tonight. He had a pretty good ride his last time up out in the right center field. Seth Smith making a catch up against the fence. 
Mr. Mays would have been proud. A basket catch at about the 380 side. Off the end of the bat, they're going to retire him early and easy here. Nice. One, two, three in the sixth. Iwakuma, well done. The only support he's got so far is a Nelson Cruz home run. See if they can add to it. Zanino, Sardinius, and Aoki coming up. Fabulous weather night here in Seattle. Mike Zanino looks at a breaking ball for strike one. Home sixth here for the Mariners. Mike Z, Sardinus, and Aoki against Rick Porcello. Struck out the last two men that he's faced. He's got five on the night. Good ball, enough. center field, oh, yes, going he did. back. Bradley, goodbye! Mike Zanino makes it 2 nothing. Mariners. Mike Z with his fifth home run. His seventh RBI, and he tucks it up big, 400 plus straightaway center field. Over to back to back games now. And he ended out of the deepest part of the ballpark. It looks like it hit all the way back to the batter's eye, which is well beyond the fence in center field. 401 to center. Great extension, head right on the baseball, didn't even move. Ball one to Sardinus took a call third strike. Mike Z swinging a bat well 427 on the distance. Turners with two hits and both of them have left the ballpark. Take another look at the swing by Mike Zanino. He has really quieted down his lower half and gives his hands an opportunity to work for him. Staying in the strike zone. He did hit the batter's eye. 868 feet of home run tonight here, Mike. Nelson <laughs> Cruz, 441, leading off the second. Here's another leadoff homer by Zanino. He did it last night, leading off the eighth inning, which turned out to be the fire starter for the Mariners. Broken bat, fly ball, right field. Rookie bets. Time now for a greater coverage of baseball brought to you by T-Mobile. How about the category, Alex? Most wins after trailing by three-plus runs in a season in the Mariners and the Rangers at the top of this list. There'll be one proud hitting coach here, Edgar Martinez. Ball club started tonight eighth in hitting, seventh in runs, ninth in homers, third in home runs, and they've added two more. Round trippers tonight to give them 150. Look at 52.4 percent of the runs scored via the homer. Nori had a long at bat last time, up 10 pitches before grounding out the short. 
Well, Mike Zanino also had a 10 pitch at bat his first time up, and then he hit a home run the next time. So, see what Aoki can do. Saying it hit him. Mon DeHace is not buying. Scott Service wants him to wait. Bench, the bench is going crazy. What are you talking about? It hit him. I want him to take a look at it. Oh, that clearly, clearly hit him. Holy yeah, clearly Toledo. Off the Come on. Guard. Oh, he's not even going to wait. He's on his way to first. <laughs> he, he realizes it hit him. Hit him in that shin guard. Right off the front edge of the shin guard. Yep. Well, he's a good athlete to get up out of the way like that. We've seen him do that a lot. Nice job. They consult. Get the play right. Ron Mullen de Jesus is the home plate umpire. Where you Paul Emmel, Mike Estabrook, and Dan Demuth. Seth Smith. A couple of ground outs for Seth. Marcelo. A couple of off speed pitches that Seth has been out in front of. Well, he's had his success against Porcello with nine hits, including three doubles. It's something airborne and deep here. Shift on against Smitty. They leave Bogart's shortstop up close on the grass on the left side. Zanino put him down to come paying off. Jay Buhner's watching the game tonight. He's excited for him. He was really happy for him to hit the home run last night. So I'm sure thrilled to see him go dead center field tonight. Good to have him bat. Swinging a hot bat here. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Throw down the first. Oki's back. Smitty strikes out. There's two away. For Purcello, strikeout number six. For those who protect our West, now until August 31st, a portion of every purchase of Coors Banquet's going to be donated to the Wildland Firefighter Foundation. You can also show your support by coming to Firefighter Appreciation Night at Safe Coldfield on August 21st. Learn more about the foundation and the Protect Our West program at WFFoundation.org. Mr. Cano, 0 for 2, ground out and a strikeout. Dawn for Robbie. Travis Shaw holding Aoki at first. Mark Holt. Short right field for Cano. That's playable. Right fielder Mookie Betts takes control. And that'll do it. Home run by Mike Zanino. 0 1 pitch. Smoked it. Dead central. Batter's eye. Gone. 2 0 Mariners.
Root Sports being brought to you by Money Tree. Proud to make a donation of Mariners Care for every Mariners win. By Jack in the Box. Taste the all new Jack's Brewhouse Bacon Burger today at Jack in the Box. Limited time only at participating restaurants. And by CenturyLink, your link to what's next. The big wheel here in Seattle. Beautiful day this Wednesday, the 3rd of August. Where did this year go? The Labor Day before you know it. Jackie Bradley Jr., Aaron Hill, Travis Shaw, 5, 6, and 7 here in the seventh inning against Sashi Iwakuma. Iwakuma struck out six, hasn't walked anybody. Giving up four hits, one multiple hit inning for the Red Sox. That was the third. Brock Holt, and a base hit to left after an intended to get his first big league hit. Iwakuma got out of it by getting Bogarts to foul out. Adam Lynch. 1 1. Easy play for Martin. Lost it. Now he's found it. He's there to make the play. Seth was there just in case. Martin letting him know, and Seth running over. He would have been able to make the catch for him if Martin hadn't picked it up. And Iwakuma just doing his normal thing changing speeds, pitching to both sides of the plate, elevating the fastball, split down out of the strike zone. Being efficient again pitching here in the seventh inning He's thrown 84 pitches 84 pitches 62 strikes for him. Twilight time present any problems anything I mean is that something we might see again here or is that did he just lose it in the lights. No 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 that that was twilight ball was hit straight up in the air the, the lights didn't bother him there and he started off he saw it come off the bat and he thought he had it, and then he lost it well, for probably about a second. The thing I like is he lets he let Seth know about it right away because Seth was there and he would have been able to make the catch. Nori Seth to make the play and keep Aaron Hill in the ballpark. Two quick outs. All Mariners Jedi should head to the ballpark on August 19th through the 21st for Star Wars weekend here at Safeco Field featuring fireworks, postgame movie, and unique Taiwan Skywalker bobblehead. Fans are encouraged to dress in Star Wars attire all series long. So for your tickets and details, visit Mariners.com slash Jedi. Travis Shaw going to step in for the Red Sox. He's over two. Mariners have the shift on with Travis hitting. A couple of pop-ups for him. One to Cano and one to Sardinius. Iwakuma now has faced 25 batters, 17 first pitch strikes, so working ahead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth time into the seventh inning for Iwakuma. There it is. Split down out of the strike zone again. The other pitch has been pretty good for him tonight against the left handers. That little cut fastball is about 85, 86 miles an hour. All two strikes to Shaw. Backs up Martin a little bit, but the guys make their way towards Doug out. Easy inning. Well done. Three flat balls to Sashi Iwakuma, top winner on the Mariners staff. He's got a 2 nothing lead.
imagination right now because you need to be ready if you win Washington's lottery play today. Good to have you with us along with 24,494 here at Safe Gold Field on this beautiful Wednesday night. A 2 0 Mariner lead. Mariner broadsides tonight. Cruz, upper tank, left field, second inning, and Zanino straight away. Center field to the batter's eye in the sixth, the only scoring. Tonight, here's Mr. Cruz again. Cruz, Seeger, and Lind against Rick Porcello. Good pitching matchup. Iwakuma and Porcello, who's 14 wins under his belt. Iwakuma has the 11. Porcello has really pitched well. He's only given up two hits. Again, both of them leaving the ballpark. One of them by Nelson Cruz, the other one, Mike Zanino. For Nelson, his 27th. Mike Zanino, his fifth since being recalled. But Porcello also has been efficient. Iwakuma, 90 pitches through seven. 86 now as Porcello works here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Porcello tied with Chris Sale and Chris Tillman for the most wins, and Jay Happ for the most wins in the American League with 14. Two balls, one strike. Nelson Cruz. 1 1 pitch, homered upper deck left field. Popped out to the first baseman the second time up. Yeah. Take. A couple of borderline pitches yeah. and Nelson getting the call on both of them. Get himself into a 3 1 count. Three one to Nelly. High fly ball bets. No play. Marcello struck out six, hasn't walked any but one walk. They played one walk to Seager back in the second inning. He's only walking a ball game. Three and two to Cruz leading off the seventh. Strike three call. One down. Seventh strikeout for Porcello. One away. Here in the seventh. Make your voice heard. Nominate your favorite plays of the week by tweeting us using the hashtag root fan fave. Watch the Mariners pregame show every Sunday. Find out the top five fan favorite plays of the week. Plus, each month, one lucky fan's going to win a Coors Light Refresherator just for participating. For official rules, visit rootsports.com. In those rare situations, you do get a medal for trying. One and to Kyle Seeger. Walked and popped out the third. <laughs> Kyle three for twelve against Porcello. Like it was knuckling on him a little bit. Quick two outs here in the seventh coming up tomorrow. What's next? Century Link brings it to you. Lefty Drew Pomerantz came over from the A's recently. Goes up against Ariel Miranda from Baltimore in the Wade Miley trade, making his Mariner debut. Here's Adam Lynn. Looking for a good at bat here. Struck out looking last time and also bounced into a double play. Oh, for his last 12. He has a good count. Porcello again has a lot of off speed pitches to him. Iwakuma staying loose. Going to come out and pitch the top of the eighth inning. Only 90 pitches for him, so he's got service. I'd like to see him get through one more inning. There's what we're looking for. 2 0 pitch. Got a cripple. Fly, baby, fly, gone. Adam Lind with a home run. His 16th, his 44th RBI. And the Mariners have struck three times with home runs tonight. A 3 0 Seattle lead. And a good adjustment by Adam Lind. 
Even in a 2-0 count, he gets an off-speed off speed pitch. 78 miles an hour, able to keep his hands back long enough and hit it into the seats. Take another look at it. Change up, 78. Three home runs, 151 now for the Mariners. Nothing like turning it loose on a 2 0 pitch. A little too quick. Nelson Cruz, when he homered in his first at bat in the second inning, leading off, that broke an 0 for 7. And Adam Lynn broke an 0 for 12, 356 feet. And what a game for the Mariners. They only had three hits in the ball game, and all three of them home runs. Measuring just shy of 1,200 feet worth of home run, too. One and two to Martin, who's 0 for 2, fly to left, and a strikeout. Iwakuma, when he was pitching against Boston at Fenway Park earlier this year, he gave up three total runs, all of them three solo home runs. And that's been the trick for Porcello tonight. Done by the Mariner offense. Home run by Adam Lynn, breaking an 0 for 12. Good for him, good for the Mariners. Here comes Kuma. All right, Angie, thank you. Guillermo Heredia takes over in right field for Seth Smith. 
high pop up. It does not come back to Zanino. Cindy Leon, the hitter. One for two, lined out to left. Got an infield hit. Iwakum sparkling tonight. Six strikeouts, no walks. 91 pitches, 68 strikes. Drew Storen getting loose in the pen for the Mariners just in case. Leon, then attendee, and Betts here in the eighth inning. Oh, he pulled straight 72 miles an hour. Last time visiting the eighth inning against the Angels back on April 22. And a no decision in that game. Played Buckholtz getting loose in the pan for the Red Sox. You mentioned Iwakuma pitching deep in a number of games this year. Yeah. He's only reached 100 pitches twice. He's going to get through this inning. He'll probably be a season high for him. A season high is 102, and that was against the Yankees. He went seven innings. Right three call. Strikeout number seven. One out here in the eighth. Yeah, 90 miles an hour right on the outside corner. Just a perfect pitch. A little two seamer running off the outside corner. Here's a rookie been attending. First big league hit back in the third. Struck out on a one two pitch in the fifth. Excellent command, and that was dead central right there. But all in all, he has really done a tremendous job. Well, he has a three run lead. He wants to continue to work ahead. Ball curve ball. 27 batters face, 19 first pitch strikes. Good number. Three home runs tonight by the Mariners Cruz, Zanino, and Lind. The three runs. Broken back, base hit. So ben Attendee, the kick, has got two hits tonight. And the University of Arkansas. Hey, some bobbleheads are bobbleheads, and others, well, they're legendary this Friday. First 20,000 fans pick up a Ken Griffey Jr. Hall of Fame bobblehead thanks to Root Sports. Swing on over to Mariners.com to pick up tickets. Junior's supposed to arrive in town tomorrow night. Huge weekend. Don't fill yourself with regret. Get tickets. Iwakuma is going to get a great hand from the fans here. 24,494. The majority of Mariners fans. Outstanding. Five hit shutout baseball into the eighth inning, supported by three home runs. And if the Mariners hold on, it'll be win number 12 for Big Kuma. Nice job.
Dave Goldfield, thanks to that man right there, Sashi Iwakuma, kept the number one offensive team at bay for seven and a third. Excellent point. Very good offense that he pitched against. And again, his fastball command, excellent today. And what a job of pitching. He topped out at 90 miles an hour. It's normal fastball, probably around 87. But overall, seven and a third, five hits. Did not give up a run. He is responsible for the base runner. Didn't walk anybody. Seven strikeouts, 97 pitches. 73 of those for strikes for Iwakuma. Drew Storen will take over. 40 appearances on the air, a 6.81 ERA and 35 and two thirds. He has 33 strikeouts. Coleman's hitting 309. Storen obtained from the Blue Jays in the Joaquin Benoit deal. A lot of experience as a closer with the Washington Nationals. Mookie Betts, his first hitter. Storm with 29 saves last year with Washington. Base hit. Tying run coming to the plate. Tom Wilhelmson, Vidal Nuno getting loose in the pen. Nuno getting ready for Ortiz. As you take a look at this solid line drive, turns around a 91 mile an hour fastball and hits it hard right back up the middle. Mookie Betts, ninth leading hitter in the American League, just broke an 0 for 7 with that base hit. Mariners could use their first double play of the night. With big time on the left, Dal Nuno on the right. One out. Fastball first strike from Drew Storm, 28 years old out of Indianapolis, went to Stanford University. Rock Holt, a super utility player for the Red Sox. Good speed out there on the base paths. Pop up playable, Sardinius. Two outs. We want you to join in on the conversation for up to date game information and live interaction. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Check us out and stay connected with Root Sports. And now Drew Stewart's got to deal with Xander Bogarts, number two hitter in the American League behind Jose Altuve. Bogarts 0 for 3 tonight. Fly to right. Foul out to Adam Lind at first and a ground out to third. Strike one. Mariner outfielders playing deep, trying to stay away from the double. Bogarts one for five against Drew Storing. Deep to left. Oh no. Aoki's there to make the catch. Boy, did he put a charge into that? <laughs> yeah. Our blood pressure feels a lot better right now, Nori. Three nothing Mariners.
It's good news. Good to hear about a prospect like DJ. Mike Zanino off the end of the bat. That is foul. Mike led off the six with a home run straightaway center field. His fifth of the season. Marcello's given up three hits, all home runs. Cruz, Zanino, and Lind. And with Drew Storm getting out of the inning. And when Diaz getting loose out in the bullpen for the Mariners. Picked up his first major league save in last night's ball game. His last pitch of the game, 99 miles an hour. Impressive. Bender first strike from Porcello. Porcello struck out eight, walked one. Mariners have never had a three hit, three home run game. All hits are homers. Open in the mic. Robbie Ross Jr. warming up. Ross get out of a jam pitching two thirds of an inning on Monday. Line drive base hit Mike Zanino. Another good start for Mike. Twice tonight he's let off an inning. The base hit and he let off the home run in the eighth last night. So take a look at our quick and loans rocket arms feature. Single season highest strikeout per nine all time and Mr. Diaz at the top. That's some serious. That's a serious list with the world as Chapman number two Carter Caps had that good run for a while Craig Kimbrell and Kenley Jansen. We'll see if Sardinius can get a bunt down. Aaron Hill the third baseman in on the grass. Popped it up. Paying attention was Zanino. Could cash in on all that early bunting work before the game. He squares around early. It is a strike. Just drops the barrel. Where's Johnny B. Good again? I've got to find out why Nori Aoki's walking up to Johnny B. Good. And I, hey, I love Chuck Berry. I'm just good for him. That's new. Edwin Diaz joining the Down Nuno. How you doing, man? Nori hit by a pitch last time up, eighth time that's happened this season. So I want to get picked up with Salvi Perez in Kansas City getting Seeger at first. Zanino at first, one out. Hill in on the grass at third. Pitch. Bradley. Now run this down. The wind blowing left to right helped. Knock that down. Guillermo Heredia, who came on for defense, walking to the plate. And his first major league hit in RBI in last night's game. What a great reaction he had when he had that base game. hit. Yeah, it was terrific. He got his first big league hit last night, been attendee tonight for Boston. Ah, look back to Porcello. Well, here we go. Ninth inning. Electric Eddie time. Three nothing Mariners.
time and let's revisit last night. It was a lot of fun. Fans were excited about it. He had his good stuff last night, challenging him with his fastball. Topping out at 99 miles an hour. There's a slider, the only slider he threw in the inning. First major league save. Impressive. Yeah, that last fastball, 99 miles an hour right on the outside corner. 25 appearances for him, a 1.73 ERA, 52 strikeouts in 26 innings. Part of the order coming up. David Ortiz leads off. First pitch, strike one at 97 miles an hour. Diaz has held opponents scoreless in 21 of his 25 appearances, not allowed to run. His last nine and a third. Big poppy. Big out. 0 and 2 is ahead. There it is again. 99 right off the outside corner. Ortiz tonight. 0 for 3. He did take Seth Smith to the fence in deep right center field. In the fourth. Here's the 0-2 from Eddie. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. One down. Three pitches, three fastballs, and this last one top of the strike zone at 100 miles an hour. Didn't have a chance. One out here in the ninth. Jackie Bradley Jr., another good hitter. Jackie tonight 0 for 3. Pitch. Base hit. Radio will get it back in. So one out, one on, and we'll bring up Aaron Hill. This is a 96 mile an hour fastball, probably just off the outside corner, breaks his bat. Soft line drive into right. Veteran Aaron Hills got an infield hit. He's one for three. There's the slider. Ooh. So you got that plus 99 and 100. Which one you're looking for, Dave? <laughs> I'm not feeling good. <laughs> if you're a hitter, I'm not feeling good about it. I can tell you that. You got to sit on one thing, right? And he oh, hit it with a slider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts himself out of some trouble here. Tying run coming to the plate. He tried to go back to the slider again. Zanino set up on the outside Ooh. corner, just kind of backed up on him as he hit him in the shoulder, 85 miles an hour. He's got to deal with Travis Shaw. Right now, you're thinking. No one on ground ball. Sardinia, Sir Cano. Get out of here. Ball one. Shaw tonight, 0 for 3. Pop to second, short, and a fly out the center. One oh from Diaz. Hey, Zanino can't find it. Runners move up to second and third. A wild pitch. Just going to spike a fastball at 98. Actually hit the home plate umpire. That takes a double play out order. We, we've right. seen this the last couple of times with yep. Diaz on the mound. Robinson Cano making a trip to the mound, having a conversation with him, probably just to settle him down. That's what he did last night. I asked Robbie after the game. So what'd you say? Said, be yourself. Yeah. Just be yourself. You got this. With a wild pitch, really, it doesn't matter. Yes, it takes the double play out of the equation, but you're worried about Shaw right now. He's the tying run. Two-o pitch. Two amp, three and oh.
last night. He got a strikeout, then a walk, and got two strikeouts in the ball game. Back in the count of three and one. Big pitch coming up here. Great Kimball, their closer. Beating up just in case. 3 1 pitch here to Travis Shaw. A score run and also get an out. Two down. RBI for Shaw is 56. Moving to third, Jackie Bradley Jr. Just got to get Cindy Leone, the catcher, who's one for three. Three runs, four hits, no errors for the Mariners. They've left two, a run on seven hits for the Red Sox. They've stranded six. Leone representing the tying run. First pitch from Diaz. Fastball at 99. Ball one. Lynn guarding the line at first. The 1 0 pitch. Well, he's really coming across his body here. 2 0. And, and Mel Stoudemire quickly out of the dugout. See Tom Wilhelmson getting loose. Or Diaz, you have to remember too, he pitched on Saturday in Chicago. He pitched on Sunday. He was up in the bullpen on Monday, did not come in the game. Obviously, he gets his first save in last night's game and back out there again today. So he's had to work a lot over the last five days. The good pitch thoughts brought out by the pitching coach, Mel Stoudemire Jr. Texas. 3-2 losers at Baltimore. Houston, 3-1 loser to Toronto at home. Harris can pick up some ground here. 3-1 lead, but Diaz behind in the count to Sandy Leon. 2 and O's. Leon steps out, gets time. Big 2-0 pitch. Can only short right field. 3-0. Attending. Lucky from Arkansas. He's had a good night. First big league hit, a strikeout, and a second hit. A lot of pitches for Diaz last seven days. Got to get back in the count here, 3 0. And he does. Quick worker, and Leon steps out. You saw what the work that he's done. You can also add another 16 tonight, so 75 pitches. Big 3 1 pitch here from Diaz. Hit hard to Cano. Backhand. Throw to first. Ball game. Mariners win it 3 to 1. Diaz weathers the storm. He hit a batter. Had a wild pitch, but he survives, and the Mariners have taken two of the first three against the Boston Red Sox and pick up ground on Houston and Texas. What a great outing for Iwakuma tonight. Seven and a third, just five hits, did not give up a run. Did not walk anybody, seven strikeouts for him. Adam Lynn with a home run, Mike Zanino, Nelson Cruz getting the scoring started. So the Mariners with just four hits tonight made the most of them with three solo home runs. Played in a very crisp two hours and 16 minutes. They go for the series win tomorrow. As we get ready for Ken Griffey Jr. weekend. Good stuff here by the Mariners. Good win as they go to 54 and 52. Boston at 58 and 48. Mariners now 9 and 8 since the All Star break. And the other part of the day, too, is if you think about it with Diaz, he's going to get tested from time to time. And this is a good test for him. He comes out, the first couple batters get on, but he's able to work his way out of it to pick up his second save. Well, oh, that's a good one. That feels good. And more feel good coming your way right now. Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines starts right now with Brad Adam and Dave Valley fellas all right gentlemen thank you yes that's called making the hits count and I can get used to Edwin Diaz